Howdy, 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 my name is Anachi Sasuke, and welcome to Metroid Fusion. Unlike the other Metroid games, I do actually have to watch this. Just a little bit. As usual, I'll be looking at my TV rather than my computer gamepad, because lag and weirdness. The reason I'm wearing a cloak is because this is going to be a part of the October Halloween setup. The last time I tried to play this game, I did actually get stuck on a boss, so I'm hoping that it doesn't happen this time. Okay, let's do this. Okay, new file. Did I really have that many energy packs? Hey, it's some Federation Force people. The parasitic organism we now know as X. Into an asteroid belt! I don't really need to stay quiet for this because I'm not reading it, but it's also not speaking. And as for the thing earlier, there's a water bottle right in front of my television, and I was going to see if I could knock it out the way, but I can't reach. I probably have something they can reach. I have a guitar, but that's not a good idea. And chronologically, this is the last Metroid game in the series. Other M takes place before this, for some reason. I blame Zero Mission for this part, to be honest. But then, someone found a cure! They proposed using a Metroid cell to make an anti-X vaccine. It seems that the Federation had managed to preserve a cell culture from the last infant Metroid from SR388. The serum was prepared and injected without delay. The X parasites were immediately and completely destroyed. Kinda cool how they're 3D looking, even though this was a Game Boy Advance game. As for me, one life ended. It has survived, reborn, as something different. Pondering this fact, I realize... 
I owe the Metroid Hatchling my life twice over. We will soon be arriving at the BSL research station. I must prepare for docking. Oh, I thought that was the computer talking. Oh, it was the computer talking. That right there, other M is almost entirely because of that sentence right there. And was entirely unnecessary, but still happened. But that's just my opinion. This ship looks like an alien. Okay, the water bottle's not blocking the map, unlike my face. There's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. The bay currently stores capsules. Oh, right. Containing recently sampled recent samples from SR388 as well as parts of your suit infected by the X parasites. The cause of the explosion as yet unclear. Investigate. Yeah, I'm gonna have to knock that water bottle out of the way sometime. Sorry about this. <laughs> anyway, the quarantine bay is here. Move quickly and quietly. You are still unable to use most of your latent abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. Stop at the navigation room on the way. Uplink from there. Is your objective clear? Yep. Right, I don't have charge beam yet. And there doesn't seem to be music. Can't do more fall of her. Can I? Can I do the grippy thing? I can do the grippy thing. Okay, that's a plus. I am pleased by the fact that Samus did not forget how to grab ledges. The quarantine bay is ahead. Bio signs are confirmed. Be careful. Signs, eh? <coughs> There's some music. Am I going here yet? Nope. As far as that thing with the water bottle, I'm probably going to edit that out. If I do edit that out, then you'll have no idea what I'm talking about. It really depends on how that went. Pretty sure this game does not have a charge of heat. This is unfortunate news. The specimens brought back by the field team were infected by X parasites. The X can mimic its prey, and any specimen could have hosted it. 
Before the explosion, a security sensor scanned one. The gelatinous X parasites invade and rapidly reproduce, killing the host creature. They also absorb DNA and use it to mimic the host. You were almost killed by an X infection. Only the Metroid vaccine saved your life. It seems Metroids were the main predators of the X. That's why the vaccine worked so quickly and so well. But it has also changed your cellular makeup. You will never be infected by X again. In fact, you can now absorb them without a host by merely touching them. This will allow you to replenish your health and restore weapons. You may also restore latent abilities this way, so pursue free X parasites whenever you possibly can. The station is home to many species, some violent ones. We must keep the X out of the breeding environments at all costs. This is vital, Samus. I have already detected massive bioscience in this region. The X are gathering. This may be our chance to exterminate them, but you are only at 10% battle capacity. Your chance of survival is extremely low. The Federation needs you alive and on duty, Samus. Is your objective clear? Now get going. I have released the lock on level 0 hatches. Look for the blinking hatches. Let's go! Save point? Almost. No. Get out of here. Woo -woo -woo -woo. Okay. Now there's a there's a very specific reason why I did excuse you. But anyway, there's a very specific reason I decided to play this game for October. And I'm going to be doing hour-long episodes for it, so you'll see why. I have received news from Headquarters. They can support you with downloadable weapons data. Once you have this data, you will be able to use missiles. This will help against some enemies your beam can't hurt. Head to the data room for the download. The data room is here. Is your objective clear? Yep. With missiles, your chance of survival climbs to 20%. Oh boy, 20. this fancy elevator. So sassy. Oh. That computer reminds me of a gruff Federation CO I served under named Adam Malkovic. He called me Lady on missions. From anyone else it would have sounded sarcastic, but Adam made it sound dignified. Out of respect and with some irony, I named the computer after him. Okay, so I think this story is being told after the fact. Which is probably why she said with some irony. Okay. The data room is just ahead. I see it. Give me them sweet, sweet missiles. Ooh, ten of them. Missile data downloaded. Okay. Electrical interference has knocked out the elevators on the main deck. This may be related to the X. I'll work on it. As for you, try to find another way to the target. It's located here. I'm reading huge bioscience, so I hope your missiles work. To reload missiles, you can use recharge rooms or absorb a special kind of X-Parasite. You'll see them. Try it out. Is your objective clear? Missiles are your only hope. Don't hesitate to use them. Now find a way to the target. Right, those aren't missile doors anymore. Missile doors sounds like I was trying to say mesophilioma. I was kind of expecting to just fall down there. But yeah, despite this being a side-scrolling, uh, a side-scrolling action game, it, it handles itself kind of like a horror game. Whee!
It goes back and forth between sounding all heroic and then sounding terrifying. And it most certainly has its moments of being terrifying, and like I said, you should you'll see why. It's in here. Hey. Like Zero Mission, I'm not looking to do a long play. I just that looked suspicious. Can I save the gamers? Electrical interference. Okay, I can save. Sweet landing, bro. Save complete. That. Nope. music again. Oh hey, it's an energy tank. Right? Right, okay. Oh hey! How you doing? Oh. Sit. Look at me! Yeah. Gotta go fast. No. Fire bad. No. Boogity boogity! Nyeh! Ow, ow, ow! I'm gonna die! Nyeh! Heal me! Heal me! So there was not a charge of heat, there was a charge of dillo? Well, a, a morphodillo? I don't know. I don't know. A pain in the ass, that's what that was. Still gotta get to, uh, something. And I think that was my mission. Okay. Zombies? That is what those are. Okay, I've never seen them do that. I did not know that was a thing the zombies did. Yeah, see, look, there's a corpse. That zombie is a fat guy. Save data. Where am I going? to this navigator, uh, navigate, yeah, yeah, navigation room. Hey! Bam! 
vanquish the zombie. What you got for me, computer? Samus, it's as I feared. The breeding environments have been invaded by ex-parasites. Sector 1 shows several abnormalities on biosensors. Sector 1 is a simulation of the SR-388 ecosystem. To get there, take the main elevator to the access shaft. And ele use elevator 1. Is your objective clear? Yes! Use the navigation room just inside for further briefing. I'm not sure, but I think that whoever allowed the exit into the environments may also be linked to the earlier explosion. Alright, let's do this. Leroy Jenkins! Ow! I deserve that. Well, can't use out of one of these doors. Okay, then. Ah, no, 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 no. That is not where I wanted to go. Oh, oh, okay. Missiles! Yeah. All right, okay, here's the thing. That, that is why this is in the Halloween month. That's handy. The main elevator leading to the access shaft has been severely damaged. It will be totally unusable for some time, unfortunately. Some unknown agent is at work. Something very powerful, certainly not human. I'll report when I know more. Now listen closely. The X in Sector 1 have invaded the atmospheric stabilizers. They must want to alter the environment to their needs. They are already reproducing. Clear all five atmospheric stabilizers to stop them. Is your objective clear? Now get moving. Yeah. More zombies! Now, for the sake of, uh... Well, just for the hell of it, I'm probably also going to... What is, what is that? What? Uh... But yeah, for the hell of it, I'm probably also going to do the opening of Metroid Prime 2. For about the same reason I'm covering this. Atmospheric stabilizer online. Four units still malfunctioning. Okay. 
Oh, I think. Right. Oh, okay. Ow. How do I get. Oh, I know how I get that. I'll be back for you. Yeah. Gonna do it again. Okay. Okay. Space pirates? Really? It is entirely too early in the game for those. Ah! No! No, no, no! No, 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 no! Don't do that thing you're trying to do. Oh, thank God. Heal me, heal me, heal me, heal me. No! That is the opposite of heal me. No zombies. There's probably more of them down there. Okay. I like how there's more of them in the background. Can you not? I would appreciate it if you not become space pirates. I'm, I'm not sure that's how that works, to be honest. What is the point of this room? Oh. Okie dokie. That's probably important. But I'm gonna go to the safe room instead. Finally! Very well needed since I'm probably going to die soon. I don't know how many, uh... Atmospheric, whatever the whatever the hell's I did yet either. Hi. Shit. Yay! Where's the other one? Oh, it's probably a boss. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, real talk, Samus. Why did you think that was gonna work?
Okay, then. Charge beam? Charge beam! Yeah! This time, instead of a charge appeal, it was a straight up fake Chozo statue. Wait, does that mean they just had a Chozo statue here? Why did they just have a Chozo statue? Am I supposed to do this again? I know there's a way. Did I just fire through the wall? Oh! One unit still malfunctioning. Okay. Phew! Don't be more space pirates. Don't be more space pirates. Give me the save point. That looks suspicious. Okay, I guess I have to come back for that. Fall bombs have got to happen soon. At this point, they're obviously supposed to happen soon. All right, all stabilizers online. Okay. it the whole time. I'm just stupid. Back to the navigation room, apparently. That's not the way. Okay, save the game. All right, now let's see what you got for me, computer. Atmospheric stabilizers online. But many X have already made it to the other sectors, it seems. In particular, Sector 2, Tro, the tropical habitat, shows abnormalities. I suspect the X entered this sector with the help of our unseen saboteur. He or it may be in Tro now. Samus, get over there. We need to put an end to this. Is your objective clear? Start moving. I'll brief you at the Tro navigation room. Alright, let's get over there. Now, I was looking to make this episode be an hour, but considering the fact that I'm going to need to cut out me knocking a water bottle to the floor, I do kind of need that. The real Adam understood me well. He would end orders with any objections, lady. He knew I wouldn't uh, disagree. That was just his way of noting our trust. I wonder if I can trust this computer, too. But anyway, once I get to the troll uh, save room, I'm gonna stop there. Because I do have to edit out... I'm probably gonna edit out attacking the water bottle. And... If the video is overlong, then doing that's going to be a pain in the ass. It's, it's already going to be a pain, but 
if the, if I have to edit it out of an hour long video, even if it is at the beginning of the video, it's still gonna be a little bit of a pain. All right then. I have learned the identity of our mystery saboteur. Samus, it is an X mimicking you. I have named it the SAX. I believe the SAX came from the capsule containing your infected suit parts. It used a power bomb to escape the quarantine bay. That explosion breached the capsule containing all the X that started this disaster. But the a SAX is definitely our biggest worry right now. The SAX is mimicking you at full power. You can't face it. If you see the SAX, just run. Don't think about fighting. You are still very vulnerable to cold, an unexpected side effect of the Metroid vaccine. Like Metroids, you can be frozen by an ice beam. Of course, the SAX is armed with the ice beam. Stay away. If you see it, just run. HQ says they have the bomb data ready in the da data room. Bombs will help you find a way out if the SAX traps you. The data room is here, but... It's sealed by a level 1 hatch. You'll have to find the security room and release the level 1 locks. But per safety protocols, it's not marked on the map. You'll have to find it on your own somehow, Samus. So, first find the security room and unlock the level 1 hatches. Then go to the data room and get that bomb data. Is your objective clear? Keep an eye out for the SAX. Save the game. So, now that we've been fully briefed on that, the reason that I decided to have this Metroid game count for Halloween rather than just playing it whenever is because this game gives you an enemy that you can't fight, you can only run from it, and it takes until just about the end of the game before there's anything you can do about that. So, anyway, put the gamepad down. This has been Inashi Sasuke. Thank you guys for sticking around to watch episode one of Let's Play Metroid Fusion for Halloween month, which is basically October, but everybody knows it's Halloween month, just like September was Pumpkin Spice month. But, again, thank you guys for sticking around and watching this, and uh, you guys have a great one.